do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos uh, hello friends so now we are going to solve a numerical which is based on instantaneous rate of reaction so before knowing instantaneous rate of reaction but we already know what is rate of reaction and how the reactants and products are equal to each other when it comes to the rate of reaction by using these stoichiometric values so let us solve based on that so friends as on your screen you can see a numerical which is based on instantaneous rate of reaction or you can say normally the rate of reaction we could determine that what is the rate of formation of the product or what is the rate of formation of the uh, next product or the consumption of the reactant and overall the rate of reaction we could find everything based on this numerical so let us see this numerical and let us know what are the given data present in the question and what are the requirements which are asked in the question so the reaction they have given that 2 times no plus 2 times h2 will give you n2 plus 2 times h2 so in this thing the rate of decomposition of no is 2.42 moles per dm cube per second and from that thing we have to determine the rate of formation of n2 and the rate of formation of h2 so it is very much simple to know that what is the rate of consumption or what is the rate of decomposition so how can we write this thing let us write before writing the main content first of all the thing that we should write is we should write the rate of the reaction first so it would be very much easy for us to know that uh, which uh, thing is to be determined and which thing is already given to us so the rate of the reaction and in this case we are writing the instantaneous rate of reaction so no need to write instantaneous again and again we could write rate also so the rate is equals to for the above reaction that has uh, been provided to us in this thing we could see that the stoichiometry was 2 for no but since no that is a nit nitric oxide which was present on the left hand side or you can say which was present on the reactant side the value or the concentration of no will go on decreasing according to its stoichiometry to maintain the rate of reaction so we are purposely taking the stoichiometry 2 as the reciprocal of that that is minus 1 upon 2 d of no divided by dt this is for one reactant and we could equate this thing to another reactant also which is h2 again h2 is present on the reactant side so the value or the concentration of h2 will go on decreasing as the time proceeds so therefore we could write as minus 1 upon 2 for h2 that is d of h2 divided by dt and now we are equating the product so so in product we could see n2 which has a stoichiometry of 1 and since n2 is in product side we could write plus 1 upon 1 d of n2 upon dt is equals to now the water is now a product which is present in a stoichiometry of 2 or the number of moles of uh, water that has been produced is 2 so we would take the reciprocal of that also it would be plus 1 upon 2 of h2 divided by dt so this is the rate of reaction that we have calculated or the, that we have uh, that we already know how to uh, mention the rate of reaction of a particular reaction but the main data given in the question is the rate of decomposition of no is 2.42 moles per dm cube per second this is the unit 
the thing that you should know is rate of decomposition means something is getting decreased and what is getting decreased yes no is already getting decreased right so So since NO is getting decrease and the rate of decomposition, since I have divided the concentration with time, means it is already a rate of reaction, okay, or rate of decrement or rate of consumption of NO, which is given as, and since I have also mentioned minus, which means it is consuming. If I would have written plus, means it has been formed. So the rate of consumption of NO is given as. 2.42 moles per dm cube per second. So this is the given data that I have extracted from the question. But this is not over. We have to find out two more uh, given requirements which are being asked. That is uh, the rate of formation of N2 and the rate of formation of H2. So since everything are equal to each other, so for determining the value of n2 we should equate this equation which is already given to us we will equate this equation with the requirement the first requirement is n2 so we'll equate this with this equation so let me equate it so that you would understand it very clearly So to find rate of formation of N2, in this case the rate of formation, since it has been formed, it will be positive. The concentration that has been now will be produced for the product will be positive. So I have taken as positive, but for what? But for N2, that is. N2 upon dt. This is what we have to find. But earlier, what we did, we made the rate of reaction. We have mentioned the rate of reaction, and in that rate of reaction, we know that this thing is been equated with this thing. So I could write it or I could mention it again. So minus half of dno upon dt is equated with dn2 upon dt that is true and in this case or in the given uh, uh, extraction of the uh, data from the question we got to know that the rate of consumption or the rate of decomposition of NO was found to be 0.5. That is this value. I am talking about this value. This minus and of this value which was nothing but 2.42. Simple. So by this thing we could determine the value of N2 the concentration of n2 with respect to time so what i'll do is i'll equate it so therefore the final answer for the formation of n2 is now plus 1 to 1 1.21 again we should not forget to uh, write the uh, unit of this uh, value which would be again moles per dm cube per second so this is how we have uh, determined the value of formation of n2 but this is not over we have to calculate the formation of h2o also so let us do it now itself and now the second data that we have to determine or the second requirement that we have to determine is the formation of h2o again we'll do one thing This was the given data that we have extracted and in that case the value that was given to us was minus dno divided by dt 
that is the rate of consumption of NO. And now what we'll do is we'll equate this NO with the H2O which is our requirement. So it would be very much easy for us to know what is the formation of H2O. And let me tell you one more thing that the given data uh, and let me tell you one thing the given data might that be uh, the rate of formation or might be the rate of consumption you should always equate that thing to the requirement so in this case for example if i would say uh, students might get confused uh, while doing this it, they might get confused that whenever they find the data from the requirement suppose in this case uh, the given data was no and from that i have calculated the n2 so never make equation between this and this why because suppose if this n2 value uh, for example it, if it gets wrong and now you are equating this n2 with this h2 the h2 value will also be wrong so i'm not saying that you will get wrong because it is a very simple question and you could uh, write the answer very clearly and uh, it would be the correct one but still have a precaution is that you should always equate the given data with the requirement so from this data i have got to know that half concentration of no is equal to half concentration of this h2 with respect to time so i am going to equate it So in this thing we have to find formation basically rate of formation of H2O that is plus H2O dt. So what we will do is we will equate the equation of uh, NO and uh, H2O which was found to be Clear? Okay. So now in the given data, sorry. So now in the given data, minus d n o upon d t had a value of two point four two. Now this I liquid with half of d h two upon d t. So from this thing, this two, this two will get cancel out. Now the remaining is dh2o upon dt that is the rate of formation of h2o is now 2.42 so this is how we have calculated the formation of uh, h2o but don't forget to write the unit of it the unit of this would be the same that is moles per dm cube cause it is concentration divided by the time that is per second such a simple question so i hope you have got to know that how to determine the uh, rate of formation or the rate of reaction or the rate of consumption of a particular reactant or product with respect to time if they have given so it was very much easy so i hope you will try this kind of sum in your future too so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe ekeda channel thank you so much